on this episode using holidays and slow days as a crutch. Hey everybody, this is The Quarter Show and uh, we're going to be talking about using holidays and slow days, slow days as a crutch. So when we're talking about this, you know, you, you hear people say sometimes, you know, oh, it's just, it's slow. It's, it's very slow, you know, and this concept, you've got to kill this concept because you make it slow, right, by, ta by not taking enough action, not doing enough things to actually drive the attention, drive the activity, drive the, the the speed of your day. You are actually making it slow. It's not just slow. Things don't just happen. You're making it slow. You gotta speed it up. You gotta speed up your pace, speed up your activity, get emails out, get phone calls out, take action, do productive cycles that are gonna drive up the speed of your day, drive up the speed of your activity, and make things happen. It's the same thing for holidays where people talk about, oh, you know, it's it's uh, it's Easter, Christmas is coming up, it's, it's, it's end of February, Februarys are always slow, these different things, and they're using these things as an excuse, to use them as a crutch to, to justify crappy numbers, quite frankly, to justify not hitting the production level that they need to hit. And, and look, we're all guilty of it, we've all been there, we've all done these different things where you wanna blame some external factor, like it's a holiday, like, oh, everybody's out today, oh, it's, um, you know, President's Day, or it's Labor Day, or it's Easter, right? And so, oh, I can't reach them, they're out. The CEO's traveling, the this, the that, the they. All these external factors, and conveniently, they're things that you can't control. You know, and I mean, I believe there was a there was a particular uh, December that was rough for Richter some years back. Is that right? Yeah, I, yeah. yeah I, I I've forgotten. I don't know what you're talking about. I've forgotten there was this a, all together. There was a December. I've just and, deleted it from my memory. And, and a holiday season yeah. where a lack of prediction on our part led to yeah. drastically low numbers. And Robert decided to never let that occur ever yeah, again. And never. so wrote up, wrote up a whole strategy on how that particular holiday season was going to be handled. Yeah. Since that time. Richter's highest numbers ever are during that holiday season. Highest ever. Highest ever. Not happening anymore. And it was simply a decision of, well, that's just never going to happen to us again. Yeah. Wrote up a strategy. Yes, we, we take holiday. We go on holiday. For sure. But we work. But we yeah. make sure the numbers are there. We don't have an attitude like, oh, it's slow. Oh, it's Christmas. Oh, this. Oh, that. We don't put causation on an external factor, we control the outcome when we know that we're taking full extreme ownership or full accountability for the the time or whatever. And so in order to make up for it, yes, if there is a, a lull or a dip in that time, then we get to work and we overstep, we overwork, uh, we outwork this time, scenario. Yeah. Time, time is monitored by how quickly you, 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 you go into action. Right. It's monitored by how quickly you do. So you can actually create time by moving faster, by getting a hold of, the, of your different prospects yeah. faster and getting them closed faster. And then you can turn you know, two weeks worth of, uh, of, you can turn one month of production into two weeks and then take your holiday or whatever. You, know, you can control time. You can, you can. And it comes to, you control time from speeding up what you're doing. I think about the show, uh, the, the movie The Matrix, when it's like, you move so fast that everything slows down, you know, Control and, time. And, and controlling time. And, and, and that's kind of the concept. And, and when somebody says it's slow, I'm thinking right away, this person isn't doing it. Look, we both, we both closed many wonderful clients and prospects on holidays. Yeah. Because this device, this supercomputer that sits in your pocket. People have them all the time. All the time. Yeah. And they're always on. I, I, there's been two that I can think of. One was climbing the Eiger in Switzerland where there was no service, no nothing. Legitimate. Legit <laughs> There's one legitimate use, one legitimate excuse, and another one was similar. He was like in the Amazon somewhere. Yeah, but yeah, outside yeah. of that, right. every prospect, even if they're with their family, yeah. he won't tell this story, but on Christmas a couple of years ago, he closed a substantial package for Richter on Christmas Day. Now, did he spend time with his family? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Whole day. Yeah, I mean, you just have to work with a constraint of time, crunch it down, get more done, be more productive, uh, it doesn't mean don't spend family time or don't take holidays or anything like that. It, that, that. it means do it all. You have to do it all and you have to work in a, in, in, a, in a crushed, compressed amount of time, but you have to work faster. If it's slow, 
you need to make it faster. What can you do to drum it up, make it faster, get more phone calls back, do more phone calls out, do more emails out, do more marketing uh, material that you, that you need to get to. Work through all the actions that go out and then you'll start drumming up and the actions are coming in. Everything will speed up about your day. Really, you're causing it to be fast or you're causing it to be slow. And if you're using holidays uh, as a crutch, it's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt your company. It's going to hurt everybody. Um, it's, and, and that's the one thing. And this is, this is something that, and, and you know, whoever's listening to this, take this with however you want to take it. But when a person uses holidays as a reason or slow days as a reason, I feel like they're not behind the mission of the company. They can't be. I feel like they're behind the mission of, I'm so glad I have a nice stable thing where I can come to do my nine to five. This is an acceptable acceptable excuse that people will buy. Nobody will dispute it, right? Because right. you go, well, it's Christmas and everybody says, yeah, it's true. So you almost can't be, you can't be, you can't be pushed on that point too hard, and so it's this re very reasonable, acceptable excuse that hardly anybody would challenge you on. Yeah. But we're here to say, look, we want to challenge you on that, and we want to say, stop doing it, right? Because yeah. it's going to help you, it's going to help whoever you're working with, it's going to help your clients. So, you know, just decide to knock it off. And I know that comes across a little harsh, but that's what we do, <laughs> right? That's what we do here. We decide ourselves, we tell them, look, knock it off. And first couple and times, first couple times, and this can be edited out if it's not appropriate, but the first couple times that Robert went on vacation when I was with Richter, I didn't know he was on vacation for at least three days. I was, and then I found out that he's somewhere with his family, right? But he's been like, crunching the time and putting it in whenever, you know, it's like the, the early, early morning time and he would get sure. so much done so fast and then go spend a wonderful time with his family sure. over the course of this time. You have to, you have to, because that's the pace you gotta run at too, yeah. to keep up you know, these days. But So I ho hopefully yeah. that helps. Don't use holidays as a crutch. If it's slow, make it fast, because it's completely up to you, and, and, you know, and your whole day will change. And the truth is, the faster it goes, the more production that happens. Honestly, it makes it fun. It, it's a better day to have. You want to feel like you got a lot done at the end of the day. That's how you drive your excitement and your, you know, uh, invigoration for what you're doing. Yeah. Okay, see you in the next one.